Hey friends, it's Jen at the Sunshine Farm. I see a lot of home setters making broths. Broths. <laughs> That's a weird word to say. Um, but typically they're making animal-based broths. So bone broth, turkey broth, turkey broth, chicken broth, that kind of thing. And at the Sunshine Farm, we're plant-based homestead, so we're not eating any animal products. So I wanted to find a way to make a broth that was vegetable based, AKA vegetable broth. Luckily, it's actually quite simple. I made seven quarts of this gorgeous vegetable broth. I didn't get any ingredients from the store. All of it was from our garden. And I want to show you how I did this, walk you through what types of things I put in the broth, how I canned the broth, but let's start out with using it to make a delicious meal. I'm making a lentil loaf, which is lentils, a bunch of different vegetables, um, vegetable broth, oats, all put together into like what's similar to like a meatloaf, but it's based with vegetables instead. And then I'm going to make some homemade mashed potatoes with homegrown potatoes. Uh, make a little bit of a ketchup for the loaf using homemade tomato paste. making vegetable broth. I'm Jen. I'm Chris. Welcome to the Sunshine Farm. We're gonna be in the kitchen all day today. It's rainy outside and it's time to make some veggie broth with scraps and lots of veggies from the garden. So we're using carrots and peppers and garlic and onions and tomatoes and cabbage and a couple other things. And we're just throwing it in a pot. We're gonna let it simmer for a while. We have our recovering pup right here with his cone <laughs> and then we're going to turn it into broth we're going to can it with our pressure canner so that we can store it all through the winter so yeah make broth with us if i ask you watch it The one thing we're kind of short on right now is carrots. So I'm gonna go out in the garden and try to find some more carrots for the veggie broth. We'll see what we can find. There's a You can really use a lot of different vegetable scraps or vegetables for vegetable broth. There really is no one perfect way to do it. It's whatever you want. But here's the recipe we followed and feel free to make modifications as you see fit, but just make sure everything that you're including in the broth is safe for canning. So the stock is starting to boil. I'm gonna let it simmer for six hours or so and then we'll go ahead and strain it and we'll start putting it in jars and getting ready to pressure can it. This is the first time I've actually pressure canned this year. All the other canning I've done is hot water bath, so uh, should be fun. Slow, slow, slow. After 
simmering the broth for about six hours. We strained it over the sink to make sure we didn't have all the thick pieces of vegetables in it. And then I ladled the broth into clean mason jars. This recipe made just about seven quarts of vegetable broth, a little bit more, and we just poured the excess into a jar and stored it in the fridge. But you really can't fit more than seven quarts into the pressure canner that we have, so it worked perfect without having the jars too stuffed together that they were touching. So I sterilized the jars with soap and hot water, and then I wiped off the rim of the jars just to make sure that there wasn't anything preventing the seal. I put the lids on, nice new clean lids, and the rings on after that. Tight enough that I couldn't open them easily, but not too tight. So I'm going to give you some brief steps for pressure canning, but make sure you're reading detailed instructions on how to pressure can before you embark your first time because if you don't do it safely, it can be really dangerous. But if you follow all the right steps, you should have no problems at all and have a lot of confidence to continue doing this in the future. So then we went ahead and put our jars into our pressure canner. And here is where we made a mistake. So don't follow what you see, follow what you hear. But you're not supposed to fill up your pressure canner for this recipe at least um, halfway like we did. It's actually only two to three inches of water at the bottom of the pressure canner. But don't worry, we ended up removing the water so it was totally fine in the end. Once you have all your jars in, go ahead and put the lid on top. You want to make sure the jars aren't touching or else it can break. So once you get the lid on, you're going to can the vegetable broth at 10 pounds of pressure for 75 minutes. Oh,